Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? Today we are in McGill Library at Westminster College. This week's theme is shadows. Today I will be reading a book called My Shadow and I. Can anybody name an animal that comes out of its home on February 2nd to try to see his shadow? Right, it's Punxsutawney Phil, the groundhog. My Shadow and I by Patty Walcott and illustrated by Frank Bozo. My Shadow and I walk together. Shadow and I, Shadow and I. I walk and walk and my shadow walks. Shadow and I, Shadow and I. Boys and girls, do you see your shadow at daytime or nighttime? Right, daytime because the sun is shining. My shadow and I run together. Run, shadow, run, run, shadow, run. I wonder where they're going. I run and run and my shadow runs. Shadow and I, shadow and I. Can you see any other shadows in this illustration other than the boys? Right, the tree has a shadow and so do the flowers. My shadow and I fight and fight. Fight, shadow, fight, fight, shadow, fight. I fight and fight and my shadow fights. Shadow and I, shadow and I. My shadow and I win together, win together, shadow and I. My shadow and I dance together, dance, shadow, dance. I dance and dance and my shadow dances. Shadow and I, shadow and I. The end. Can anybody name an activity where they see their shadow? Right, your shadow follows you everywhere. Now that we are finished with our story, we're just gonna do a little activity to finish things up. Before we start our activity, can somebody tell me what their favorite animal is? Nice, my favorite animal is a lion. No matter what your favorite animal is, they're always going to have a shadow if the sun is shining down on them. Here are a few examples of a couple animals that are casting shadows. As you can see in the picture, you can see that there is a cat to the right and its shadow is casting down to the left. In this picture, we could see a puppy walking on the ground. The puppy is to the right and its shadow is to the left again. Can anybody tell me what kind of animal this is? Good, it's a squirrel. And you can see that the squirrel is now on the left and its shadow is being casted on the ground to the right. Our final example is two kids playing. You can see them jumping around having fun with their shadows being casted on the ground in front of them. Now that we have gone over a few examples, it's your turn to draw your own shadow. To do this, you will need a piece of paper or you will need one of the pictures that we linked from Shutterstock. If you choose to draw your own, you could draw either a boy or a girl. But for our example, we're going to be using a picture of our boy that we found from Shutterstock. To start the activity, you're going to draw an oval just to the side of them. This will imitate their shadow coming down from the top. All those shadows are usually pretty dark. We're gonna make this one fun and creative. To do this, you can add your own spice to it. You can draw polka dots, draw lines. If you wanna really get creative, you can draw stuff that you're interested in or your favorite foods. It doesn't have to be basic. It doesn't have to be super creative. It can be whatever you'd like. In our example, my partner, Miss Britt, is adding a few polka dots. As you can see, we have blue polka dots, green polka dots, and pink polka dots. Like I said, you can get as fun and creative as you'd like with this. 
We appreciate you coming and sticking around for our story time. We hope you enjoyed it and that you enjoy our activity. See you later.